welcome to the 2010 US Doubles. This is your gotta go game plan. We're over at Eastway today. We went by Nevin this morning trying to find a couple teams. We're gonna run around Eastway here, see if we can find a couple of these high profile teams and let you hear from them. Well, we're here at Eastway. We're at a beautiful green, hole number eight, and I am with Team Schweberg, formerly Team Thousand Rated, formerly Team Total BS. You guys have been playing together uh, for three or four years now uh, in this event and other events. So, what are you feeling out here, man? These are two new courses. Uh, so far, I mean, this, I've just played it like six or seven holes on Eastway, and it seems nice. It's uh, actual. Uh, Deuce or die, it almost seems like. It's it's a little out of character for a Charlotte area course, which is nice. You know, when you got so many courses, it's nice to have something a little bit different. You know, there's eight or ten holes that are out in the open, which we usually don't see a lot of in Charlotte. So, you know, it's got a good blend. Well, uh, that East Way, uh, let me hear some of those nice words about Nevin. I, I really enjoyed Nevin, except for Stan on hole one. He decided to <laughs> leave a tree right in the middle of the fairway of a perfectly great hole. Uh, I don't understand. But uh, you like the so course, enjoyed other, it? Other than that, the course is awesome. It's, really a, it's it. a little tight, but you know, the fairways are there. You just got to hit them. You know, I'm, it's going to thin out and be better over years, but it's a solid course as well. It's really going to really gonna take some blood out of some people. You know, when you miss, you're going to get punished, but uh, it's still a good challenge. Well, now, Sunday we'll be out at Winthrop, and uh, we're playing 6 6 6, but this year stroke plus distance and that could be to you guys advantage I mean being two top level accurate type players do you think there'll be much movement on Sunday oh there, at Winthrop there's always a chance for movement there's too much too many places to get into trouble out there so there's yeah. definitely gonna be some movement and the format we play things can go wrong in a hurry out there you know you get the wrong person on the wrong tee at the wrong time or something and, and they're just you know they're not feeling that the score scores can go way up so you know I like our chances out there with the new rule changes I don't think we'll be really changing our uh, aggressiveness or anything we'll probably throw the right. same shots but I hear a lot of people changing their outlook on that whole course because of the rule changes and I think that's slightly humorous because uh, you should have the same attack and playing on that course no matter what. Yeah, I haven't changed my form of attack on that course regardless because I, I just don't have the arm that these young guys had the last couple of years playing the bunker role. I mean, they just, yeah. it was, there was no course management out there. Uh, I think Harold re started to realize that, that he designed the course originally for a course management style game. He wanted to progress it into, oh, play it to here, play it to here, not go for crazy shots and don't get penalized for it and just throw again from that same spot. Uh, it's definitely better, I think. Well, now, tomorrow we'll be starting out with Captain's Choice in the morning, and we'll be coming over here for alternate shot. Do you guys know who's going to tee first tomorrow? I mean, will you go by the morning round, who's hot, uh, or look at the holes? What will happen there? I really, I really don't know. It's gonna... In the past, we kind of always had the feeling what hole we started on, what kind of shot it is, you know, go by what the course is telling us to do, you know? Yeah. If there's any, like, too many things in the way, or just, just knowing when somebody has to throw a nice little layup shot and then possibly go for a shot, but it's on the Nevin. It's going to be a good chance of going for some really aggressive shots if one of us is in a, in a decent spot off the tee. All right, Captain's Choice over there. Well, that's Team Schweberry, Brian Schweberger, Barry Schultz here in Charlotte for the 2010 U.S. Doubles. Good luck this weekend, boys. Thank you, Thanks. Well, we're here at the 2010 U.S. Doubles, and we're with half the defending champs. Dave, Dave, how are you today? How are you doing, Bill? Good. Uh, you're out here by yourself uh, practicing. We're at Eastway. Two new courses this year. What does that do for you practice-wise? I mean, we're really tightening our schedule up. Uh, I'd rather, you know, I'd like to be practicing for the Open, but I was going to play Renaissance or the Nest without practicing them because I just played them earlier this year. But now I'm going to have to. I'd learn two new courses and. It's taking a little of my practice time out, but that's what you got to do if you want to compete for the title. Well, uh, being the U defending U.S. doubles champions, you and Avery probably know each other's game well enough that you don't have to practice together. Have you guys even talked about anything he's seen, or uh, have you had a chance to confer with anything you've learned yet? Well, we both got, I rode with Climo and he rode with Coling to get here because we were trying to get rides, and we can't both ride in the same car. Both came, came up from Atlanta. Atlanta, and so uh, he happened to come to East Lake, and I went to East Way. East Way, and I happened to go to Nevin. So when I called him, he was like, oh, I already played Eastway. And I'm like, I already played Nevin. So now he's playing Nevin, and I'm playing Eastway. Well, you'll be able to, to talk tonight and come together yeah. with a plan. We'll be in no, no, no problem. We just have to know where to throw and then uh, make the best strategy choice. Now, we're going to start out in the morning, Captain's Choice at Nevin. We'll finish up tomorrow afternoon right here at Eastway, alternate shot. So Dave, how easy is it going to be to get off to a good start? on such a tough course in the morning like Nevin. You know, after just seeing it, I saw it my, for the first time. Boy, I don't even know. I mean, 
I think that there could be a big separation this year. You know, the years past that we've played it, there's been really close competition. And I think a best shot out there, you know, someone could really fire up a big number and a lot of teams could struggle because it's a little raw yet. And it's, it's like Hornets Nest maybe five years ago where, you know, if you miss, but you're going to kick off in some shul that's not been trampled yet. Yep. And you're not going to make a save with a two-finger roller and an 80-foot putt. You're going to pitch out to the fairway and take a four, and then best shot doubles, you're losing strokes that way. Well, now, obviously, you're just now learning east way, uh, and we're just on hole seven, so you've seen about a third of the course. This is a different style course than, than standard in Charlotte, a little more open. Any feel for the first six holes? Well, I just think something you said was funny. It's a little different than a standard, a standard, <laughs> right? And so... And we got a train going by. Yeah. That's something you're going to notice here at Eastway. This is something that happens regularly. I actually I mean, heard it when I was putting on five. There was a lot of just, you know, like, ba-boom, ba-boom. And I was like, what is that? And I think there's a road and a train track right over here. And it comes through quite often. So you're really going to have to test your patience and, and wait on the train at times. Uh, or you could cost yourself a stroke out here. Yep. It's another part of the mental aspect. Now, the train's not bugging us. Remember I said standard? Right. Well, I thought the Nevin was a standard course. Definitely a stand design. You can see it all the way. You know, good, you know, clean fairways, but don't miss them. Turn, he turn, shows you where he wants you to go. And turn which direction. He has different directions. You turn at every shot at the end. Where here is more like a, more like the kind of course that I do really well at, I think. It's, you know, make the shot, see the shot, guess the elevation right, and, you know, make a putt. That's well, what I've seen so far. Now, after this, you know, we're going to where you feel real comfortable out to Winthrop. Yeah. But from the way you're talking, the tournament could be won on Friday afternoon, and you're really going to have to bring your A game to start this thing. Yeah, uh, my prediction is, you know, watch the scores at home. But I'd say the tournament's going to be big emphasis on the first round. Second round, the score is going to be really close based on the holes I've seen already. And I think the third round should be really interesting with the tough shot format with the stroke and distance. I think that what people's going to get in their mind is their partner's going to throw a beautiful 450 foot shot that trickles one foot OB and they might not even tee up because their next shot will be from the tee no matter what. That's right. And it's going to be a big adjustment this year on the mental aspect. And we'll talk a little more about that when we get out towards Winthrop. We're going to let Dave continue on with his practice. Good luck today. Thanks, Billy. And uh, just watch us online. Should be exciting this year. New courses to see. When you watch online, you see the same courses every year. Maybe you get bored. But this year, you're going to see 36 new holes of us playing. So tune in, and we'll give you a good show. Well, you can see those guys out here getting their practice in. A little bit worried about never seeing Nevin, not seeing Eastway. And even though they know Winthrop really well, that stroke plus distance is really going to come into play this year. So the U.S. doubles is anybody's game. Now, we want you to stay tuned all weekend long right here at PDGA.com as we bring you coverage of the 2010 U.S. doubles. We are Clash DVD for the PDGA.com.